How much do you think my DIY CNC plasma cutter made in its first year? 10,000? 20,000? No. It was actually a lot less. But here's the kicker. I started about halfway through the year. July, August-ish. And I was working full-time as an engineer, only doing nights and weekends. So let's walk through what I learned, what I earned, and why this is just the beginning. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Thyle, and this channel is about whatever I feel like posting. But usually it's about metalworking, woodworking, and my CNC plasma business. I built this CNC plasma cutter from scratch for about $5,000, and it's been the backbone of my business ever since. Today, though, we are taking a look at how I ran this business into the ground. I'm kidding. Or am I? Before I officially started this business, I was initially doing cash jobs, aka hiding from the IRS. I didn't even have my own plasma cutter back then. I outsourced all the work to local shops and acted as a middleman. I'd find the clients, handle the sales, get the delivery, and in return I'd take a small cut of the profits. It was a great way to get started and generate some income to jumpstart a CNC plasma cutting business. In July of last year, I officially launched the business. Between my full-time engineering job and other hobbies that I'd like to take care of at home, family, this was strictly an after hours type of deal. Nights, weekends, whatever time I felt like I could squeeze in. My main focus wasn't on making a ton of money, but more of trying to learn the process. Most of my jobs were small custom projects like signs, address plaques, and some small repair and agricultural parts. I intentionally stuck to smaller projects and even turned away some larger ones because I know I wouldn't have been able to fulfill that at the level required. All right, so the moment everyone's been waiting for. How much money did my CNC plasma cutter eat during its first year in business? It might surprise some of you, but I didn't actually go negative, I think. But if we head over to my Squarespace website analytics, you can see that my website brought in about $1,100 in revenue. Now just hold your freaking horses. <laughs> Before you guys roll your eyes, let me explain why I am actually proud of that number. So let's break it down. That $1,000-ish came from about 10 orders, ranging from $5 all the way up to almost $200. And the majority of that is actually profit. Most of these orders that I had, the only thing that I had to pay for was the material. Otherwise, the electricity and some of that stuff that is normally accounted for in the product price, I didn't really calculate. So we'll just say I spent that out of pocket. Like I said, I didn't pay myself. So all of that money is just chilling in the business bank account right now. But here's the thing. Every job was a learning opportunity. I got better at pricing. I got more efficient. And most of all, I learned how to use my time wisely now let's talk about where i'm headed and my goals for next year one get established in my shop i just moved in things have been a little scattered and disorganized and i want to improve the reliability of my machine the machine itself is a diy version so it's not as robust as some of the industrial machines where you can just buy off the shelf and it starts working this thing has problems constantly Two, I want to try and learn how to market locally. I want to have my workflows dialed in and be the go-to guy for local parts. Right now, I'm not the best at putting myself out there. And like I mentioned, we just moved. So this is a brand new area to me. I plan to reach out to local business, maybe some community groups. And I've seen a few things in the area where I might be able to attend some trade shows. Three. I want to set a revenue goal. If I had to attach a number to it, I'd say a hefty goal, but something that I feel like I'm more than capable of doing is hitting a $25,000 revenue mark. It's pretty ambitious, but I think it's possible with some consistency and the exponential learning curve that I'm starting to hit. I also need to figure out how to pay myself because currently I have not paid myself anything 
all the money I've taken has just been stuck right back into the business. And I know sometimes that can get kind of weird with taxes and all of that. So this is all still a big learning process. The goal is to transition this side hustle into something more sustainable over time. That's my dog. I'm also planning to invest in some new tools and skills. For example, a better heating system for the shop. Start exploring and doing some repair work and learning a little bit more about the design software. In the majority speaks, I usually use SolidWorks, but it's not my license. I always borrow it from my work. So in hindsight, knowing that I won't always have that, I think I want to dabble more into Fusion 360 because it's a much cheaper option, at least at the beginning. So what did I learn in my first year of business? Here are my top three takeaways. One, start small. You don't need to quit your job and spend a fortune to start up a business. Even just a few hours a week can definitely make a difference. Test the market. Doing those cash jobs before I actually had the machine gave me some very valuable insight. It allowed me to see what people wanted and what they were willing to pay for it. Patience pays off. I understand that building something valuable takes time. And year one was just the warm up. If you're thinking about starting your own business, whether it's with a CNC plasma cutter or something else, don't wait for the perfect moment. Start where you are. Start right now. Turn this video off and just go start. Do whatever you, do whatever you need to do. Do whatever you need to do with what you have and learn as you go. What do you think I should focus on in year two? Bigger projects, new tools, more DIY stuff? Let me know down in the comments. And if you're curious about how I built this machine or started this business, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching and see you next time.